the compact disc was the biggest sonic revolution since magnetic tape. It introduced the public to the idea of digital music for the first time. CDs were presented as delivering perfect sound forever, and the allure of crackly old vinyl was quickly tarnished by this buff new format. What was your feeling about hearing it on CD as against on vinyl? Did it, it was uh, shit, yeah. like all CDs. Brittle and thin and horrible. The actual reason that CDs were favored in, over vinyl it, uh, never had to do with sound quality. The, the principal advantage to compact discs was that they were more convenient than LPs. Like you could put more music on them, you could carry them around easier, you could play them in the car. The manufacturing costs in bulk were dramatically lower than LPs yet you could sell them for more at a higher retail price so the profit margin on them for the record labels was astronomical you know record labels made an absolute killing during the cd era but the ultra portable mp3 player has effectively made the physical format redundant just as people ditched their vinyl in the 80s now cds have landed in the technology graveyard but does this convenience come at a cost an MP3 is a piece of digitized music from which all but the bare minimum of the original information is discarded. You might be able to carry your music collection around with you, but it's been estimated that you're losing up to 90% of the recorded sound. It will surprise no one to hear that Steve Albini doesn't own an iPod. So we asked him to listen to a track from the new album by his band Shellac as an MP3. Yeah, uh, I, that wasn't wasn't enjoyable. Essentially, no bass information makes it through the earbuds, so there's a lot of low frequency information on this record. Uh, I would imagine on other records, but um, yeah, I mean it's a record. I'm, uh, it's our record, so I'm quite familiar with it, and it, it sounds odd and alien coming through earbuds like that. For Albini, the only way to listen to music is still on vinyl. And he's not alone. Vinyl has seen a huge resurgence in recent years. It's once again becoming a significant part of the music business, worth £20 million in 2014. People who, are, who listen to music seriously, people who want to have collections of music, typically buy vinyl records because it's the same format stretching back you know 50 70 years so you can have music covering a very long time period in that same format and so you can listen to um, a Nat King Cole record or an Ella Fitzgerald record or a Buddy Holly record or a Beatles record or a Sex Pistols record or um, uh, name someone from this week <laughs> 